Okay, so um, we decided to take all the melons out from this side because we figured out that um, they needed sun. So the problem was that they're too much in the shade and um, they need sun to start growing. So here we planted already the jam squashes. Okay, it's a small pumpkin um, that if you just open it up and put a little bit of butter, it's just uh, it's just excellent. It's, it's a, has a beautiful taste to it. And you'll guys see, it's a small pumpkin. Each person just has one, you know. Really cool. So we got extra jam squashes because. Um, this is eaten a lot <laughs> everyone goes crazy over it and on this side we planted our melons so we transplanted the same melons that were on that other side we put them here with the bell peppers okay to keep the stretches here of the bell peppers giving that pepper taste um, and uh, it's quite impressive because um, just the fact that we changed this today they lift it up I mean they're all like lying down the melons so we have one two three four five did any melon um, did any of the melons give up no one of them. so only one hey so only one melon uh, gave up. I was just confirming. <laughs> Sorry for shouting. <laughs> and uh, so we have five melons. Okay. So, but they were all lying down, and right now they're all standing up, so they really want light. So now you guys know if you plant melons or watermelons, and probably already do know, I was the only one that didn't know. <laughs> um, but them in a sunny spot, okay? That was the reason. So, we still have like one jam squash over here and one bean stalk right there and strawberries did not give anything so this was no use. The rest is looking beautiful, ready eight uh, raspberry, we got two more probably tomorrow. Um, these ones are also going very nicely. So yeah, everything is going great. As you can see the difference, if you see the previous videos, you'll see the spinaches, uh, you'll see even the rucola, it was the tiniest one of all of them, look at that. So everything is just um, growing and growing day by day and that's a good sign. So that's life people, you work, you fail, you try, you fail, you try, eventually you succeed, okay? Okie dokie, so... We are almost finished guys, okay? Almost done, got the side really closed, we got the front part really closed trying to concentrate on the camera and talk at the same time <laughs> look at the camera from one point of view then you look on the out of the camera and you get like confused like <laughs> am I pointing so um, it's all done now we just need the little finish ups do the other roof on that side right there um, but you've got to start somewhere right so this then I have to paint this floor, the walls, um, paint this gate, paint that gate as well on the inside, paint that wall, cover with cement all those holes down there and on the side as well. Take the gas system outside, okay, and um, there's also ventilation a little vent there that also has to go out um, what else and that's about it got the sliding door so it's basically just a simple plan that works you know simple rail simple top rail as well 
all panel, all removable, so nothing permanent. Best way to go. And that's it. Let me show you guys the outside. The outside is looking just like this. So it's all going to look the same in terms of the panels. Um, it's like camouflaging the big door. So just now to do the little finish ups, you know, steel trimmings. That's all that we need now. Get the water system drainage. So you can come all the way there, go down, connect to that one, go down. Go, 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 all the way down. So, really happy, really motivated, really excited, very tired, but really happy. <laughs> Three stalks on a nest recycling an old rusty monument. How cool is that? Very well made. So uh, just taking a walk in the forest, stretch the legs, I like to do a lot of exercise as well, keep sh in shape, you know, keep fit, Sasha also needed a walk, <laughs> hey Sasha, she can actually go 10 meters with this leash, like that she just feels free, you know. I'm going to let her go in the forest because she hasn't been a while since she was operated so just got to get her used to it again so yeah nice walk in the forest I have a lot of forests uh, where I live so it's very easy to do these hikes you know just now I'll be starting with the beer recipe uh, making our craft beer and um, tomorrow tomorrow we got some garden content and uh, probably going to review another car and then with these cars that I'm reviewing I'm also going to always be doing upgrades on them so there will also be a lot of car contents coming up um, so that would be quite cool you know it's actually been raining a lot of thunder today but um, looking quite good now so just walking in the forest, how lucky am I to just find this beautiful fruit tree right here. This is the shell once it's over, that's beautiful, I'll take a photo of that. <laughs> um, let me show you guys what this is all about, I'll put the name in the description, I can't remember it right now, see here, it's still green so now i know that if i come here more frequency i'll end up finding it see now this will become orange and you can just eat it it's a very tasteful fruit yeah, it's called here frizalish i didn't look enough but there is orange fruits you see <laughs> yeah so look at this see here Check this out guys, and this, you can just eat it straight. Wow, look at this. So we got more plums, white plums, red plums, and we got another two r raspberries right there. See? Just got a little bit of dust because I let them fall on the floor. They are good to go. Looks little for one person. This is quite a meal already. Eh? <laughs> Very happy. That's what I like about this. Planting vegetables and having fruit trees. Everything gives fruits. You know, if you work for it, you will collect your fruits. That's the way guys, that's the way. So I finally finished the machine project. All nice, painted, everything refurbished, even the amp meter, look how nice it stayed. All shiny, looks brand new. 
got all the safety stickers everything has stickers on it the buttons to identify what it does exactly okay and it stayed out looking nice I guess so we got the heated plates now just a little cover here so that no one accidentally gets burnt and that's about it so see can always recycle old stuff if you just give it some love <laughs> and now it looks like a brand new machine that came out when it came out <laughs> Okay, just gonna take this cover out so you guys can see how the electron tube works. So, this is the electron tube. This takes uh, 10.4 volts. 10 volts for a minute. Yeah, between 10 and 10.4, hey? Yeah. Yes. AC, and that's what's gonna produce the frequency, okay? Okay. The radio frequency. Voltage. And it's got 4000 DC high voltage passing through it. Um, so uh, that's about it on that side and now we're going to weld with it that's a tuning this is a tuning like you're tuning a radio okay it's the capacitor so it gives more or less power this, this is the oscillator the oscillator and um, won't get too much in details but any question you guys got just um, put it in the comments and I'll be pleased to answer them now I'm going to show you guys how it works. Which is off right now. Uh, if I want to switch it on, I'll just switch it on here. Okay, but I don't have I don't need temperature for the material we're going to use now. So if I was using like let's say uh, if I was using leather, okay, I would need temperature. Um, if I was using like textiles, I would also need temperature. But um, because we're just using plastic, pure plastic, um, we don't need. So if you want to take stuff out of aluminium and that, this comes very in handy. It's like a magic scrub. See? It disappears. <coughs> it's easy. So that's what I'll be doing afterwards. I'm just going to shine it up. Because this was um, to adjust the, the thermometer. I passed the glove, you see, and uh, it's got this, so don't mind this right here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to weld now. This is fiberglass, so sometimes this cool. just uh, stays like that, but it's all fiberglass, so we don't, ha we don't paint it or anything because it's isolating the, the ground from the plate to the ground because uh, we showed you previously in other videos. We can't have this plate to the ground or else it just um, breaks the circuit, okay? So that it doesn't weld it anymore. It trips. trips it. Okay, so we're gonna weld now. And close the press. So this is all cold. Don't forget, guys. Put some more time on it. There we go. Okay. That's, that's good. Yep. Okay. So uh, let's see here, and there you go, so we just did, uh, we just welded plastic without no heat whatsoever. Got ourselves a little sheep here, no heat. see, it's all cold, you can see, there's the temperature. So that's how it works. So you want to explain how it affects the plastic? Plastic of polymers? Yes. Okay, positive and negative polymers. Mm -hmm. Because it's a high frequency, it's giving a positive and a negative. Okay, it's a cycle, AC cycle. It's working, um, it works with um, 27 megahertz. So it's going positive and negative 27 million times a second. It, uh, it takes these polymers and it, it, it vibrates them so quick that they actually melt. Okay. But the molecular structure stands exactly the same where it's been where it's been heated, it's exactly it's got exactly the same structure, molecular structure, than the material that's original. Okay. There's no change in the, in the structure. So there you go. That's a technical detail explanation. <laughs> and now we'll weld uh, some of the material we're going to use for the chicken palace curtain. We can show them what's what we're going to do. 
This is the material we're going to be using for the chicken curtains. So this is a PVC um, that they use for um, for the truck truck liners. Okay, for the top holders, um, it's very resistant because it's got fiber inside of it. Okay, it's crossed fiber inside, and it has uh, plastic on both sides, so it's um, resistant to rain. Uh, UV protection everything and then you can make even like little windows with the transparent crystal pl plastic see so we'll be doing the curtains with this like that there's no sewing anything just weld the plastic straight once again remember this is all cold so it's just using radio frequency to weld okay so we're going to weld a union from one with one plastic with the other uh, you can also unite two plastics of the same material like I can do two pieces of this together which I'll also be doing for the curtains and the crystal one is more for the windows maybe we'll get some windows on there as well so they can uh, see what's going on outside <laughs> okay so let's get it done as you can see it's all separated there's no heat whatsoever remember Here we go, amp meter going up, that means it's welding, we have a timer as well, and there you go, this was actually a bit too much, <laughs> it's too welded, but um, you guys can see how well this just melts plastic by use radio frequency waves, you can also do this with uh, ultrasound as well, um, that's quite cool I guess. So this is what this machine is for. They use it for different areas. Automobile, um, medical products, school products, textile products, uh, steel induction, okay, heat treatments. There's so many things. Okay. And there we go. Oh, my finger was in the way. Okay. So as you can see, Right, yeah. See? If you tear, if you pull it really, really hard and it's still like um, melty warm, that's why we took the moment to pull it. Can you guys see the, the fiber in there? You see? Full of crossed fiber. That's why it's very resistant to wind, rain, everything, you know? So. Hope you guys enjoy that. So we've got a lot of future technical content coming your way. So keep tuned on the channel, guys. Okay. Quite cool, eh? <laughs> and um, starting on the next one, ready? Uh, there's going to be some cool new features coming your way. Stay tuned, guys. See you on the next one. Out.